Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series of mobile computing and wireless communication. The topic introduction. In previous lecture, we have already learned about the signal. We are having two type of signal, analog signal and digital signal. We can also divide the signal into two another type that is periodic signal and aperiodic signal. In this lecture, we will understand the difference between the periodic signal and aperiodic signal and the difference between analog signal and digital signal. Previously, in previous lecture, we have learned about the time domain concept of a signal. In this lecture, we will understand the frequency domain concept of the signal. The time domain concept and frequency domain concept both are very important. But in the real life scenario, the frequency domain concept is very much important. Because the frequency domain concept is basically used in the many places as an application of a signal. We are only using the frequency domain but not we are using the time domain. Because we can represent the time domain concept on a paper. But we cannot represent the frequency domain concept on a paper. The time domain concept is already having the definition kind of frequency, bandwidth, then after period, phase. We can represent uh, that all fundamental on your x, y axis like y axis is having the amplitude value and x axis is having the time value. But we cannot represent the frequency domain on a paper. But some of the fundamental is also common that in frequency domain we are also having the frequency. But the most important properties in a frequency domain so signal is having which is the spectrum and bandwidth. In real life scenario, you are always telling that I am having this much of bandwidth and this much of bandwidth. I am having the broadband connection, right? So this all real life fundamental is having the frequency domain representation. So we will discuss the frequency domain concept in the detail. Then after we will discuss the difference between time, the difference between periodic and aperiodic signal, analog signal and digital signal. Now, the next topic is frequency domain concept of a signal. So, if we talk about the real life concept, then signal is being represented into two time domain, that is time domain and frequency domain, two domains, okay, time domain and frequency domain. In the both uh, differences, Now, the next topic is frequency domain concept of a signal. So, if we talk about the domain representation of a signal, then there are basically two domain, time domain and frequency domain. We have already learned time domain, but the frequency domain is very much of important thing. Because in a real life scenario, the main concept of a signal is being represented as the frequency domain. All the fundamental in a real life concept that are based on the frequency domain only. So, if we talk about the frequency domain concept, then in frequency domain concept, basically your signal is being repre represented as multiple frequency combination signal. Look over here in a diagram, you are having multiple signals which is having different different combination of frequencies. But let, let uh, us see this whole concept in a mathematical form. Then S of t is equals to S of t is equals to that is your example of a frequency domain concept signal, which is a combination of two signals in that the first signal that is sine 2 pi f t is having the frequency small f. But in the second signal that is the 1 by 3 sine 2 pi 3 f t that is having the frequency 3f. So ultimately we are having two frequencies small f and next frequency is 3f. And your actual signal is a combination of this both frequency signal. In diagram C, here it is the first representation 
the first representation of a signal that is sin 2 sin 2 pi ft and the next diagram is for the representation of 1 by 3 that is 0 0.33 value for your amplitude value sin 1 by 3 sin 2 pi 3 ft that means in one interval of time your signal will be repeated thrice so after combining this both signal we can have your combined signal as this here look for over here what is you are having the combined signal in which from 0 to 1 interval of time your signal is combined of two frequency signal that is f and 3 so the proper definition if we talk about in a frequency domain concept is the first one that is the fundamental frequency look over here what is the fundamental frequency your first frequency that is small f and your next frequency that is 3 f so any of the remaining frequency will be the integer multiple of the one frequency and that one frequency is small f next frequency is 3 f that is the integer multiple of f by 3 so ultimately your small f frequency is known as the fundamental frequency and your actual combined signal will have the frequency as the fundamental frequency that is only f so from 0 to 1 interval of time your signal is only repeated at one time okay next important definition that is spectrum the spectrum is the range of frequencies from minimum frequency to maximum frequency so your minimum frequency is small f and maximum frequency is 3f in our example so ultimately the spectrum value is from f to 3f and thereafter the important definition that is bandwidth this term is used to many places bandwidth that we are having the broadband connection bandwidth is a uh, this much of amount so the bandwidth is nothing but the range of your spectrum that is maximum frequency minus minimum frequency is equals to what your bandwidth so ultimately the bandwidth fundamental is what maximum range of the your spectrum maximum minus minimum is equals to what your bandwidth after understanding what is the signal and type of signal periodic signal and aperiodic signal let us discuss the difference between periodic signal and aperiodic signal so first of all what is the periodic signal so the periodic signal is which repeat itself and aperiodic signal which does not repeat itself so ultimately we can say that we can represent the periodic signal in a by mathematical equation whereas we cannot represent the aperiodic signal by a mathematical equation so we can identify or calculate the value at any point of time of signal but in aperiodic signal we cannot calculate the value so ultimately we can say that the periodic signal is a deterministic kind of signal whereas the aperiodic signal is a random signal and we can say that the example of periodic signal is a sine wave, cosine wave, square wave, which we have already learned. And the aperiodic signal is a any random signal, like normal voice signal. So, after understanding the difference between aperiodic and periodic, let us discuss the difference between analog signal and digital signal. So, ultimately, we have discussed that analog is connected with the continuous whereas the digital is connected with the discrete so whenever we are talking about the analog signal then it is the about continuous signal but when we talk about the digital then it is the discrete so ultimately the first difference is that analog signal is a continuous signal whereas the digital signal is a discrete signal the example of Analog signal is any sine wave, cosine wave, whereas the digital signal is square wave. So, we can say that if we talk about the processing, if we talk about the processing in a real time, 
obviously the analog signal is a real signal so the processing of analog signal is a real time and it consumes less bandwidth but whereas if we talk about the digital signal the digital signal is actually created by human so on computer so ultimately the digital signal cannot be processed in a real time and it consumes or occupies more bandwidth if we talk about the storing processor of the analog and digital then the analog signal can be stored as a waveform whereas this digital signal can be stored in a binary form obviously it is generated by computer so we can store it, it in a 1010 kind of form next difference is if we talk about the noise immunity then the analog signal is having less noise immunity whereas the digital signal is having higher noise immunity because we can separate noise signal and original signal in a digital world but we cannot separate the noise signal and analog signal noise and original signal in a analog signal next difference is the instrument which generates the analog signal draws a larger path but the instrument which generate by the digital signal draws negligible power then after the analog signal can have infinite number of labels whereas the digital signal is having finite number of labels and mostly that labels are according to 2 raised to 4 that means 2 4 8 and so on the attenuation is less amount in analog now what is the term attenuation means attenuation means while signal transmission your signal strength is being reduced and that particular fundamental is known as the attenuation that is reduction of signal strength by transmission is known as the attenuation then after if we talk about the efficiency and reliability then efficiency and reliability is very less in analog but it is very higher in the digital one. It is possible to separate noise and original signal in a digital but not in a analog. The sources from which we can get the analog is the digital generator or transducer but if we talk about the digital signal then it is the A to D converter. So thank you. We will meet in our next lecture.